Now, one of our next guests, Jackie, knows exactly where a po- You knew what a post shard looked I like. I did. How, How did you know that? I'd seen one in the wetlands, I think. Well, you've seen a real one? Okay. Yeah, yes. In reserve, not in, not in oh, the wild. Oh, Not in the wild. At yeah. Slimbridge, it's lost it. Lost yeah. Ooh, there you go. See? Claire had to look it up. I know, I can't believe I didn't know that. I did have no idea. Poacher could have come and shook me hand. I wouldn't have known what it was. So Andrew was spot on with that whack, 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 bang on. Uh, Beth Lewis is 23 years of age. She's from Clibbury Mortimer and you can see her on Channel 4 tonight in a programme called Kitchen Impossible. It's a four-part programme and it features celebrity chef Michelle, not Michael, Michelle Rue Jr. Here's a little taste. I got to where I am with some really hard work. Chef Michelle Rue Jr. has helped hundreds of young people get into the restaurant industry. Top chefs use top microwaves. He believes that no one is unemployable. Too often people can be written off. But will his latest trainees manage to find work? You feel wanted or should I say needed when you've got a job. This is your moment. I lick your face. Wouldn't be too happy if the steak was brought to me on somebody's chest. I'm absolutely chuffed! <laughs> A brand new series, Kitchen Impossible with Michelle Rue Jr. Starts Thursday at 9 on 4. That's tonight. Hey! And I hear Michelle Rue Jr. is a lovely, lovely man. And uh, he looked after one of... uh, Sorry, Beth is one of eight out-of-work disabled people who Michelle Rue Jr. put through an intensive introduction to catering. And she's with us in the studio this morning with her mum, Jackie. Hello! 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 Thank you very much for coming in. Beth, how on earth did all this happen? I hear you were lingering in the New Forest. I was at college in the New Forest, didn't know anything about the programme or the casting or anything, and the researcher for the programme just turned up out of the blue. Lovely, lovely lady, and she was talking to me about catering and about waitressing, and I told her how much... I loved waitressing and how much I wanted to be like Rachel from Friends. <laughs> and she loved the idea and she went off. And then three weeks or a couple of weeks later, we heard that they wanted to film us at home and they did. Good experience. And then, like a couple of months later, I was told that I was going to be auditioned again for the programme. And a couple of weeks later after that, I was on. Because there wasn't there thousands that you were chosen from? There was thousands and thousands. And it went down to you were in the final eight? Yes. You must have been quite chuffed with that. I was very, very chuffed. I was nervous, but I was extremely excited and very proud. How did you feel about that, Mum? Yes, very proud. It was amazing. It was a surreal experience, really, because we knew nothing about the programme. So Beth never actually applied, but I understand from all the applications they'd found seven out of their eight didn't feel they'd quite made up their team, so went for another search. Mm -hmm. And when they met Beth... Beth. That was Mm. it. Was it? That was the the one, the it search, and there it was. That was the special one. Mm -hmm. So the the idea was to help make you all more employable. So what did you learn when you were doing all this then? I learned different skills. I learned how to be a waitress and what comes into waitressing. Um, We learned different foods. We learned different smells because when you've got to be in the public and public ask you different flavours and different descriptions of food, you've got to know how to describe it to them. And that's what he taught us. And he didn't just teach us about um, cooking and about kitchen skills. He actually learned... No, sorry. He actually taught us how to be ourselves especially with me because you uh, i understand have problems with your confidence yeah. and everything else and he taught you am i right in saying these words he taught you how to smile again and look at people yes it was the hoodie beth wasn't yes. it because beth used to go around always with a hood up and with dark glasses on right because she's been stared at all yep. of her life um and he told her to take the hood down and the glasses off and to hold her head up high and smile at her. How that, easy was that, that, that worked? 
<laughs> yeah, you find it, that you've got more confidence because of that. It was extremely difficult to begin with because I was so scared about how people would react. But he was brilliant. He stood next to me when we went out and he was really, really encouraging. And when I, I had to do an activity and I had to talk to people, which for me was really petrifying. And he didn't just make me, he was there through the whole th progress of that. And when I, we walked back to our location, he was holding my hand because he was so proud of me. Oh, God. <laughs> because he describes it as a magical moment when he got her to do that. And, and have you struggled with it or are you are you fine with it now? Have you, I'm have fine. You... I'm out there. I walk around the shop by myself because before the programme, I used to go shopping with mum and with dad and I used to cling mm. onto them for dear life because I was so scared of oh, meeting. But not she now. Would hide no, behind no, me. no, 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 no. Mm. I'm out, I walk, so I'm just shopping. from this programme. Yeah, yeah. It's transformed your life in yeah. so many ways. Yes. She went to London on her own on a train and she wouldn't go on public transport, even locally at all. She went all the way to oh, London on her own, just it, within weeks. Yeah. How yeah. emotional has this been for you, Jackie? It's been emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's such a transformation. you've seen a transformation. Yes, it's the yes. same word, isn't it? You've seen a transformation. Yes, yeah. That's Complete terrific. transformation, really, in terms of confidence and in representing others. And, Beth, what was it that you said to your or your cousin about what yeah. you hoped for from the programme? With the programme, I really, really hope that if someone with a disability is watching and they feel lonely and they feel like they can't do anything with their life and they watch it, and they think, right, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do something and I'm going to meet other people because this lovely lot, I've done it, then we've done our job. Fantastic. So you'll inspire others. Yes. Have you seen any of it yet? I've seen the first episode and I think we're going to get to see the second episode today, so they're still finishing it really soon. Did you hide behind a cushion? A bit, did. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, do that. you see, you see yourself really on the telly, you go, oh, cringe. Yeah. Yes. Did, were you hiding behind a cushion? I was. I was... I had two cushions, I was hiding behind one and I was gripping the other one. <laughs> Been there. But it was such a good episode, though. Is it? Yes. It's amazing. Um, in the first episode, we've got two of our lovely friends. We've got Dan and we've got Sophie, who are absolutely amazing. And they were the people that also helped me get confident and they were brilliant. So you, made good, you made good friends as well. Yeah, we've all made friends with each other. Fantastic. and we, So there's the support system there as oh, well yeah. now, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, we had to live together and we had to work together and we were like a family. We were extremely helpful to each other. We were supportive. And if anything bad happened, we were there for each other. And I've never really had that. And it was oh, amazing. So what next for you then? You'll you wait know. and see. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got the confidence to get out there and do it now, haven't yeah. you? Which is absolutely fantastic. So you're yeah. going to be watching tonight? Yeah. Good. Behind, behind a cushion again. Behind a cushion again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really good, though. Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for and having well us. Well done. And just what a wonderful story. I'm so glad that you, you went and did it. It's brilliant. Great to see you both. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.